Shabbat Tov, everyone. This is Devora. I want to uh, interest you in something that I'm going to be doing for the next three days. I have decided that over the next three days, I'm going to sign up to this free detox program and do it. And the reason that I'm doing it is because there's something very, very spiritual to doing a detox, doing a body detox. Now, I took a very, very light one. I'm not doing a very, very complicated one. Easy, pretty easy, uh, pretty in line with how I eat anyway. But the reason that I'm doing it and in a formal way and what I'm offering you is to come and join me and do it together with me is because there is a concept in spirituality and the concept is an awesome one. And this is what I teach in Breakthrough and this is what is like literally changing, changing, changing the mazel in my life in a really, really amazing way because I see it. I see that it's working. So what is it? And it says that, you know, this is, let's say, you and everything that you are, all the good things, your soul, your nefesh, all the things that, like, you know, make you into who you are, your personality, your character, your emotions, your wants, your needs, your aspirations, that's all lodged in your being, which is your neshama, your soul. And then there are your habits, your comfort zones, um, your addictions, call them what you want. And they're like glued to you. They're glued to who you are. The more something becomes a habit in your life, the more you get used to doing it, the more it becomes part of who you are. Now, these things are the things that really, really block you from growing, from meeting new people, from becoming a magnet for the things that you want. The things that like are like stuck on you. The, the Zohar calls it klipot, peels. It's almost like thick, uh, thick uh, boundaries. Uh, walls between who you are and what you want. So what happens when you start peeling these clipots, when you start taking these clipots away from you, is that you and your mazel and all the good things that are inside of you start to attract similar uh, vibrational energies. Okay, energies that are in a similar, similar vibration. Every person and everything in this world has a vibration, has a spiritual energy to it. Everything has an energy to it, right? So when you're functioning in a higher energy, I'm just giving you Kabbalah 101 right here for a second. If you're functioning in a higher energy, then you're going to attract those same energetic fields to you, those same vibrations to you. The thing that kills your vibration are the addictions and the bad habits that we've picked up along the way of our life. So what happens when we do small, tiny gestures of trying to get away from our addictions is that we, ha we, we, we literally make a separation between us and the addiction, even if it's that big. There's still a separation. It's not glued to us anymore. So for example, there's an example that my Rav always says that he says that there is this girl that came to his classes and he used to tell him, you know, Rabbi, for three years, I'm trying to stop smoking, trying to stop smoking, trying to stop smoking, trying to stop smoking. And I do it for a day or two and then I fall. I do it for three days and then I fall. I do it for a week and then I fall. And then for stretches in between, I'm smoking like regular. And then all of a sudden one morning I wake up and I'm sitting on my porch about to light a cigarette. And all of a sudden I see this guy, um, I see this guy downstairs in my house and he's uh, smoking a cigarette. And in that moment when I'm looking at him, all of a sudden I'm just like so repulsed by the whole like act of smoking and the smell and him and something over there like repulsed me so much. I put away the cigarettes and I never smoked again. Can you tell me like, is that a miracle? So the, my rabbi looked at him and he said, absolutely not. It is not a miracle because what happens with every single time you try to get away from an addiction, a bad habit, uh, a, a bad you know connection to something or someone, whatever, even if it's a little bit at a time, what will end up happening is that you will fully you will fully break away from this thing eventually, right? Some people do things cold turkey. Some people do things in measures, with, with in time periods, in slow uh, amounts. And that's really a very healthy way of approaching different things in life, that have different addictions, because otherwise it can really traumatize. It can really traumatize your system when you break away from something really, really quickly. I'm not talking about food or, or, or you know, basically just food. I'm talking about drugs and people, right? Yeah. To do things in measure, in the right amounts. To get back to our idea is that right now we are about to enter the highest and holiest time period of the Jewish, on the Jewish calendar, right? Which is Purim, 
Tanit Esther, the fast of Esther, and Purim is the highest day on the Jewish calendar. It doesn't get higher. It doesn't get holier. And for me to be able to catch this light that's coming into the world, it's not just a day of fun and partying and drinking. It's not. It's the, the energies that are coming into this world through the fun and the partying and the drinking are tremendous. They are electrifying. They are dynamite. So to be able to catch this light, you have to have vessels. You have to have a vessel prepared. If you want to take a drink, you got to have a cup to fill that cup with to be able to drink that drink. If you want to be able to, to absorb from this day, you need to be able to have a kli, right? According to Kabbalah, it says that people have to come with kilim, vessels. How do you create a vessel inside? Is that you make space for things that are spiritual. How do you make space for things that are spiritual? You, you, you control the physical. You put a leash on the physical. I always teach this. I always say that you have to train your dragons. By training our dragon, which is the voice inside that says, gimme, 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 gimme. I want, I want, I want, I want. Now, 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 now. When we are able to put a leash on that dragon, when we are able to train that little child that just wants to eat everything and eat it right now, and we're able to say, no, not right now. We're not going to get this right now. We're going to wait. Right now, we're detoxing. Right now, we're helping our digestive systems. Right now, we're helping our minds with the brain fog that we have. Right now, we're helping our souls to be able to put a, what we're doing every single time we do things that puts a leash on something that I'm not going to eat this right now, or I'm not going to do this right now. I'm going to follow this way of behavior right now. I'm going to go on a walk. I'm going to drink that lemon water. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to, you know, curb my anger. I'm not going to gossip right now. Whenever I'm, um, I put a leash on something that I want to do and my knee-jerk reaction is to do it, when I do that, what I'm doing is I'm breaking away from the comfort zone, breaking away from the addiction, and myself, my higher self, my higher vibration is able to really surface and is able to really attract the things that I'm looking for in my life, to attract the people, the experiences, the spiritual experiences. We are about to step into the highest, holiest day on the Jewish calendar. Let's do it with, with a vessel that is that is that is me that is prepared for it. Let's make space inside of ourselves for spirituality because you can come to the highest day of the year and you can stand in the highest place on planet earth. But if you are totally, totally, totally suffocated and just full, cluttered with guk, then there really is very, very little space for the light and there's very, very little space for the, for the magnitude of the, of the spirituality, the electric energies that are coming into the world. If we do this together as a community, if you join me, and it's all obviously for free, and it's, it's, it's all together, and it's all for one agenda, one agenda, which is to come to Purim with space in our souls to be able to accept, to be able to catch the light that's coming into the world and have an impact and change the rest of our year. Because it can. One thing I want to say before I end is that, you know, there's so much written about this holiday. There's books and books and books and books written on the sanctity, on the spirituality, on the energies of this day that's about to be upon us, right? And one of the things that it says is that there's a halacha. And what's a halacha? Anyone that puts his hand out, you got to give him. Why do you got to give anyone that puts his hand out? You don't check him. You don't look into him. You give him. Why do you do that? Because that's the energy of the time that we're in right now. What's the energy that... Anything that we come into Purim asking for, not just asking, we're not like waking up at 12 o'clock in the afternoon and being like, listen, I want this. That can also work. But when you come to something ready, when you come to something prepared, when you come to a meeting prepared and ready, you will get so much more out of that meeting, so much more growth, so much more, so much more uh, advancement from that meeting than if you just come rolling out of bed into that meeting, right? Like basically winging in and knowing what you're going to ask for, what you're going to say. When you come prepared for something, you gain more much more from that thing, right? It says that, 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 um, anyone that prepares for Shabbos eats on Shabbos. What does that mean? It's not just talking about Shabbos. The concept is if you prepare for something, you gain from it, you eat from it, you, you grab from it, you grasp from it. So when you come to Purim ready, you will gain so much more from it. Anyone that comes with their hands open, and when it means come with your hands open, it means come ready. Come prepared. Show God. Show yourself. Bring yourself to the table. Bring yourself to the table like a real person that says, I prepared for this day. I didn't just roll into this day. I didn't just whatever come to this day with my mishtach manot and my, which is also good. 
right? Because the day is so holy, it can feed you on so many levels. But I came to this day really preparing for the last four days. That, my friends, is going to set you on your off onto the year in a whole different way, on a whole different level, in a whole different spiritual standing. And that's a guaranteed. So I don't think there's much to lose here. Even if you do, even if you do it for one day, a half a day, you know, in spirituality, it doesn't matter. You don't have to finish things. It's not about a matter of what you produce. It's a matter of the process, of the effort, right? agra. The more effort you put into it, the more reward you gain from it. That's how it works in spiritual terms. It doesn't work on what you've actually accomplished. Can you do three days of detoxing? Can you do a day at the end of it of fasting and then moving into perm? Can you? Can you not? It doesn't matter. What matters is you putting your best foot forward. You showing God, God, I'm here and I'm showing up and I'm trying. That's all that matters. Even if you could only do it till noon, even if you could only do it till two, three o'clock, one day, two days, it doesn't matter how much time you're actually doing it. All that matters is you putting your best foot forward. You don't have to come with a full, you know, I did the three days and then I did a day of fasting. As much as you can do, that's what counts and that's what matters. You're making space in your soul for spirituality, for purity, for light, for holiness, for God, for yourself. And that's what matters. So I wish you all an amazing perm. Throughout the, the next three days, whoever signs up with me, whoever does this uh, detox with me, I will send you the detox. I'm going to translate it. It's a Hebrew program that's going on. I'm going to translate the menu for you. I'll send you the menu and I'll send you a short class every single day to give you like a little bit of a boost of inspiration. We'll learn a little bit of Zohar. We'll learn a little bit of, you know, Kabbalah on this incredible day that is upon us. And we'll walk into this day, different people, changed people, excited, inspired, spiritually connected. What can be more sweet besides for Hamantashen, of course. All right. Shavuot Looking forward. Very excited.